for the sign of Aquarius hello and welcome to my channel so Aquarius in the recent past we've got judgment and it's paired with the four of Pentacles now judgment it's a card about being really judgmental it could be about jumping to conclusions maybe some decisions that are made too hastily if you are prone or if you were prone to doing this in the recent past it would have been a sign to slow down give things more thought give people more chances this could have also been a time of spiritual awakening now this judgment card it's paired with the four of pinnacles the four of pinnacles if you, if you can see the picture of this card, it's about some unhealthy clinging, holding on to things, people, money, or situations longer than is healthy, longer than is realistic. So when this card appears, it's a sign that you need to look carefully at what you're clinging to and whether or not others are clinging to you in an unhealthy way. Four of Pentacles. It can also point to anxiety and fear. Could be about money and or clinging to whatever made you feel secure in the recent past. Now the key would be to try to realize that being anxious and grasping, it will not bring security. It does not bring security. So Four of Pentacles is the card that's below the word pass. Now if you can see the picture, this man he's on all fours. When you hear the word pinnacles in the tarot, that means money, cash, coins, finance. He's on all fours and he's got his hands on his pinnacles and he's got his feet on his pinnacles and he's just holding on really tight, very firm. This man is resistant to any type of change. So I'm picking up for a lot of you Aquarius, you could have been dealing with someone like this. They could have been afraid of losing you maybe they were holding on too tight to the connection or maybe this was you Aquarius you you held on really tight to someone or a situation and it caused anxiety and fear and then on top of that because judgment is here there was a lot of jumping to conclusions or being someone who was really judgmental and they you or your person had a hard time offering forgiveness and it caused the connection to be at a make or break period that's what the judgment card does and the clinging was it was very unhealthy so maybe you or your person was afraid of losing this connection and you held on really tight so it looks like a hard place in a relationship or just maybe uncomfortable for a lot of you Aquarius was in an uncomfortable situation or connection but that's the recent past so let's get off of that and let's take a look and see what's what we got coming up for you for the third week of August so we've got this two of wands and it's with a star card so the two of wands it's an interesting card in the tarot. It means that you could have a couple of options. Maybe two paths, two paths towards a future. So you could be planning to make a decision or it's about trying to make a decision. Um, you're having a choice, two options. Because if you can see the card, this man, he's, he's got two wands, the card that's above the word present. One on the right, one on the left, but he's more focused towards the one that's on the left. If you're sitting where I'm sitting, but he's got his hand tied to the other one. So it's, it's, it's about making a decision, this two of wands and trying to keep your balance in every way that you can, even to the mundane things like eating right, getting enough rest. It's about a partnership with another person but it's also about trying to make a decision could have two options towards the future or 
two paths, something you're trying to choose. Now it's with the star card. So the star card is beautiful. When you get this card, any grief of the past is released. It's gone. Star card, you're rejuvenated, you're hopeful, you got a lot of faith. And there's a lot of renewal with the star card. Um, you have inner clarity. So you could find yourself feeling really inspired. And you'll be feeling really hopeful about the future more than you have in a while. So you, you could also feel more confident that your needs, they're being met, whether it's emotional or whether it's financial or it could be both. So basically, coming up, like I said, you got the Two of Wands and the Star card. So you could be, a lot of you Aquarius could be dealing with someone. This could be someone new that you're dealing with, or it could be the person that you're dealing with. They could, um, I'm picking up that they could find that um, you bring them a lot of, hope you're dealing with someone that sees you like the star like the star like a star you rejuvenate this person um you bring them a lot of hope this could be someone if you don't know anyone like this now this could be someone that's coming towards you like this like i said it could be the person you're dealing with but this person uh, gets a lot of inspiration from you and um any any Problems that you guys had in the past, it's gone. If this is a past person, if it's someone that you just met or someone new or maybe the person you're dealing with, you bring this person a lot of hope. So this person sees you in a very positive light, very positive. But it looks like you could have a decision to make you could be trying to decide this way that way this person or not this person or someone else you're trying to make a decision and the person that's in your life or maybe someone new they they like you a lot you you inspire them you bring them a lot of faith and if it's no one that you know now, like I said, it, it's probably someone coming towards you like this. Could be a love interest. This person is going to find you very, uh, very, very inspiring. And you will rejuvenate this person. You'll bring them um, a lot of hope. So, but you're trying to make a decision. You might be dealing with someone else. So you're trying to decide this person or that person. Two options, okay? So let's find out what the challenge is going to be. So we got the Queen of Wands and the Chariot. Now the Queen of Wands, it's about determination. Um, the, queen of, the Queen is really egotistical. She's used to getting what she wants. She's very confident. And the Queen of Wands also knows her worth. So... Just know this person uh, could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, it's about getting a lot accomplished. Could be focused on work or career. But since this is a love reading, it's um, focused probably on, on picking up on the relationship or you. There's a focus on the, the deep focus on the connection. And there's a lot of determination this person has. Very positive, uplifting energy. So when it stands for actual person in your life, she's a really good friend who's 100% on your side, even though she could seem a bit self-absorbed. Also keep in mind, with the Queen of Wands here, if you're trying to conceive, um, this card is one of the most positive signs that there can be. So it's paired with a chariot. Now the chariot, is very fast it goes about a, maybe 100 miles an hour really fast it's about a lot of energy but it's not a free-for-all energy it's directed it's controlled and it has a goal in mind 
So you're probably fairly clear on what your hopes and dreams involve and what you're willing to do to make them come true. Now, this card, it points to determination, ambition, getting things done and testing and proving that you've got what it takes. It's a sign that you should move forward with whatever you have in your heart and in your mind. Give it your best shot. So basically, the challenge, Aquarius, this very determined Queen of Wands and this very fast chariot here. That's going to be the challenge coming up for you. What it's basically saying, just to recap these two cards, what these two cards are saying paired together, is that this person that, that um, gets a lot of hope and inspiration from you, they're going to be very, very determined about you. Very determined. They, they could be really determined to, to win your heart. Just very determined. This person wants to be with you. And probably they will do whatever it takes. The Queen of Wands is, like I said, is used to getting what she wants. Very confident. And the thing is that it's going to be a challenge because this person is going to want to go really fast. They probably, this person will probably want to rush things. So they could be tempted to go too far, too fast, or they could be pressuring you that way. That's going to be a challenge. And um, like I said, this person is confident, determined, and quite sure that... Um, they can win you. Very confident person. Uh, this person will come across as being self-absorbed, though. But they're 100% on your side. A really good. This person will be a good friend. They're determined about you. But it's gonna. It may throw you off because they'll want to take things really, really fast. Like I said, the chariot goes 100 miles an hour or more. So I guess that would be a challenge for a lot of you, Aquas, if. You're the type that likes to take things slow. But this person, they're on your side. This person will be a good friend. But it's going to throw you off how fast they want things to go. They want to rush. Let's do it now. This person more than likely has a lot of mojo. They got really strong mojo, a lot of feelings for you. So let's see what the outcome is is going to be we got the two of swords and the ten of swords the two of swords it's a card about it it could be about ignoring some warning signs making a difficult choice avoiding and blocking so when you get this two of swords your partnerships they're likely to be going somewhat well whether it's friendship romantic or business so you might just want to consider the depths, though, of your commitment to equality in this connection and whether or not you're being treated by an equal, you're being treated as an equal by your person. And if you're not, it's probably just time to bring things back into balance. That's a little bit about the Two of Swords. Now, it's, it's interesting because it's paired with the Ten of Swords, which is a sign to be careful about where you put your trust. Because when the Ten comes up, in relation to whether you can trust or believe what a person is telling you, it's a pretty clear answer of no. However, you're going to have to keep in mind that when one door closes, another door opens. You're being guided to a situation that's better for you, so trust yourself, trust in the universe. So Aquarius, the outcome, it looks like you start to avoid and block this person. Yeah, it could be because they they want to rush. This person is very determined about you. They want to rush things really fast. And it's causing you to feel like this Ten of Swords, whereas you cannot trust the connection. You cannot trust the person because they want to go so fast. Maybe you've never had anyone that determined about you, but... It's saying the Queen of Wands is 100% on your side. Um, this person will be a good friend or a good lover or someone that you can 
believe in you can probably trust because like i said the queen of wands it's a good friend who is solidly on your side but you're not going to trust the connection and it's probably what i'm picking up is because they want to rush they want things to go really fast so you start to avoid and you block this person Now, this could be the same person from the recent past who um, who could have been clinging on to you really tight and looks like maybe they came back. The recent past, keep in mind, it could be it could be a week ago, it could be two weeks ago, a month ago, six months ago or more. So this could actually be this same person that didn't want to let you go in the recent past or it could be someone new or it could be the person that you're dealing with now. But... The outcome is that, yeah, you don't trust it and you start to block and avoid. So Aquarius, that's the reading that I have for you. I hope this resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like this reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you. Best case scenario and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. If there's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. 